Hey guys, so I'm here to talk about a foundation I've been using recently, and that foundation is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. Before I start off with this review, um, I just want to let you guys know that this is my first ever high-end foundation. Um, if you saw my most recent haul, um, I will link it right over here in case you haven't seen it. So it was kind of a big deal for me. Just thought I would review this for you guys because on that video a lot of you asked me to review this foundation because some of you weren't sure if you wanted to spend the money and make the purchase. So I will make it a little bit easier for you guys who are kind of on the fence about it and kind of let you know what I've been thinking about it. If you want to see me applying this foundation, um, I recorded myself just kind of applying it. My favorite way to apply this foundation is with my F50 Duo Fiber Brush from Sigma. I have tried several ways of applying it and that is definitely my favorite. So before I go any further, I do have normal-ish skin. Nobody's skin is normal, but but as far as I know, my skin is considered normal if you are talking about those categories um, because it's not super oily and it's not super dry. So yeah, I think that's just an important thing to know if you are reviewing any type of product that goes on your skin. So I will first just talk about the packaging because, come on, we're girls, we love packaging. It originally came in this box. It's like a bronze metallic box. This is the actual bottle that it comes in and it is 30 mils, and let me tell you, when I saw this in other people's videos, I thought it was a lot bigger, but it is just the size of a normal foundation. Um, it's not a whole lot more or less or anything, it's just 30 mils. But I have to say I really do like the packaging. I think it's A plus on it because it's just very sleek and I just really like the way it looks. And it does have a pump. So I do enjoy that as well. So I'm going to start off by telling you one thing I really, really like about this, and that is that it is pretty matte. It really doesn't even require a powder for me. Um, I actually, when I applied it today, I didn't apply any setting powder, any kind of powder whatsoever. I just put on this foundation and concealer, and that's all that's on my face. So it really does dry matte. Um, it's not shiny, it's not oily whatsoever. Um, that's one thing that's really a bonus about this. So I'm going to read you the claims that it says um, right on the packaging. It says it's weightless, ultra definition, liquid makeup. And on the packaging it says it feels like wearing nothing at all, yet naked skin transforms complexions. Skin looks natural, illuminated, and bright. Weightless and virtually invisible. This revolutionary paraben-free formula creates a flawless finish. Demi-matte finish. Light diffusing spheres and make you look professionally retouched. It's the ultimate in ultra definition. So a really huge claim on this packaging is that it feels like you're wearing nothing, hence the name Naked Skin. Um, that is definitely true. Um, it's definitely the lightest foundation, lightest feeling foundation I've ever worn in my life. And that is definitely a plus because if you are going to be wearing it all day, you don't want it to feel he heavy and gross and that light feeling is just like what everybody's looking for in a foundation and this definitely provides that. It's definitely a not a thick formula at all. I'm just going to compare it to one of my drugstore foundations, the Dream Liquid Mousse. So this is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. And I won't even be able to put the other one on without it gliding off my hand. So, so that top one that's falling off right now, that one is the Naked. And the texture is so different, like, the Maybelline one is so thick, and then this one is just so thin. Um, one of the downsides, I guess for some of us it's a downside, depends what you're looking for in a foundation, but the Naked Skin does not provide full coverage. Sorry, if you are looking for full coverage, full, full, full coverage, this is not for you. Um, it's definitely a, I want to say medium coverage. Um, light slash medium coverage I would say because um, with one I usually do one pump and then I'll put it on my skin and sometimes I'll do an extra pump most of the time I will use two pumps to get the amount of coverage I need um, but just with one pump you can still see my freckles through it after two pumps it covers just enough that I would like it to cover so it's not so light coverage like some BB creams but it's enough coverage to cover your imperfections and you know, any discoloration on your skin, it will cover all of that. And it just looks so natural. And that's the thing that I really like about it, is it just kind of evens out your skin tone and just looks so fresh and natural. 
Um, one thing I can definitely say with this foundation is I have not felt like any breakouts coming out because of it. It just feels very like your face can breathe, basically. As for the shade that I picked out in this foundation, the shade I picked out is 5.0. It does come in a wide variety of shades, which is awesome. And I think 5.0 matches me, like, almost right to the T. So if you are looking for a lightweight foundation that will not break you out, that will just give you enough coverage, then I think the $50 for this, or 40, I think it's 45 at my store, 45 or 48, I can't remember, but it's definitely worth it if that's what you're looking for in a foundation. If you are looking for a foundation that will cover up like acne scarring and you have severe acne breakouts, I probably wouldn't recommend it. You would probably need something more high coverage. So if you're looking for a high-end foundation, maybe go with the Kat Von D um, Lock It Tattoo Foundation because that one has a lot of coverage. I think I covered everything I needed to talk about in this review. I can't think of anything else. If you guys have any more questions regarding this foundation that I didn't answer in this video, please let me know down below and I will answer your questions just so, you know, everything can be covered. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.